My name is Matt Rank. I'm an allergy, asthma, and immunology doctor at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Uh, I'm an assistant professor of medicine and consultant at Mayo Clinic. Uh, today I'd like to talk about chronic sinusitis and specifically a treatment for chronic sinusitis that you may not know about called aspirin desensitization. First, just a little bit about chronic sinusitis. This is a condition that we think affects probably somewhere between 2 and 14 percent of the population. This is a, a problem that really affects people's quality of life. The usual symptoms that people have with chronic sinusitis are nasal congestion, nasal drainage, a poor or even absent sense of smell, and problems with facial pain, facial pressure, or headache. These symptoms typically last for longer than 12 weeks in stretches and can be very difficult for people to deal with. We do have some treatments for these, uh, for the chronic sinusitis, but they're not always effective. The usual treatments are using things like nasal sprays, nasal rinses, antibiotics, steroid medications, and even surgery uh, of the sinuses. All of these can be effective, but in some patients it's just not enough to control their symptoms. There are some patients with chronic sinusitis who also have nasal polyps, which are small bags of mucus that develop along the nasal lining, and also have asthma. The combination of having chronic sinusitis, asthma, and nasal polyps can also sometimes be extended to an aspirin allergy. What this means is if you had these three problems and you took aspirin, you could have a, a pretty severe respiratory reaction. The name for this combination is called aspirin triad, Sampner's triad, and also called aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease. Not everybody with chronic sinusitis has this, but those that do may benefit from aspirin desensitization. So this kind of is a, a funny thing to think about. Here we are suggesting that we're going to give you aspirin to treat your problem, when if you were to take aspirin, it would cause an acute allergic reaction, usually a breathing problem. However, this seems to be an effective treatment. To accomplish this, we need to have you come into our allergy clinic and slowly expose you to aspirin. We usually provoke a reaction during this slow exposure and we'll then treat it when it happens. After we overcome that and get you on aspirin medicine chronically, we, we believe this will help decrease the symptoms of sinusitis, decrease the number of surgeries you may need for sinusitis, and also decrease the medicine you need for sinusitis. So, if you have chronic sinusitis and may fit the criteria of having aspirin allergy, you may want to think about aspirin desensitization as part of your treatment.